Welcome. Today is Tuesday, the 17th week of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Ben. God is in his holy place. God unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. We ask the Lord to forgive whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. And I chose the Mass in time in, of pandemic. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the, to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night, without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, Look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing but terror comes instead. We recognize, O oh Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Among the nations, idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to, to God. God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the, For glory, the glory of your, of your name, name, O Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us. us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the, For the glory, glory of your, your name, name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, 
because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the, for the glory, glory of, of your, your name, name, O Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For, For the, the glory, glory of, of your, your name, name, O Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us. Father, your blessing may the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily proclaim his good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower, all who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, to Lord. you Lord. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. You and I, again, are very familiar with this parable. So the question is, can we still find a message for us. Hopefully, yes. In all the commentaries that I read, one uh, kind of attracted my attention. It's written by a priest from the Diocese of Kentucky, uh, Father Michael Marsh. He writes, this parable invites us to reflect on our lives. We may ask ourselves, in my daily life, Am I sowing sea weeds or wheat? Do I do what do I want to do with, to change that? And he continues, I seriously doubt that any of us are striving to produce poor fruit. However, the weeds often begin to grow in seemingly innocuous, innocuous ways. They are almost invisible at first. Weeds have a way of encroaching in every area of our lives if we are not mindful and alert. 
today. We are invited to sit and reflect on this image of the weeds and the wheat. We often live with the assumption that if we do good, if we work hard and be nice, everything should work out as we want. So the question, where then did these weeds come from? We want to know what happened and who is responsible. We may want an explanation and someone we can blame, hold accountable, and even punish. Far too often, we see that in our political bickering, our Facebooks, Facebook tests, our Twitters, and our privately held opinions. Jesus, however, seems less interested in this approach than we are. Jesus does not give it much at time or attention. For us, behind our desire for an explanation in the name of the culprit, is a truth that many of us neither like nor, nor want to accept, and it is one of the challenges in today's gospel. It is the challenge to become more than who we think we are. It's a challenge that arises every time we face the weeds in our life. Our lives are full of both weeds and wheat. Let us be honest enough to acknowledge. Let us not waste our time finding the weeds elsewhere. And let us work hard at eradicating the weeds from our personal lives. Trusting in the Lord, who told Solomon, ask something of me, and I will give it to you. We now call to mind our needs and the needs of our neighbors around the world and address them to our generous and caring God. For the church, that we may realize the treasure of God's presence buried in each person we meet and live our lives in the joy of that knowledge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For political leaders, that they may govern the vast and diverse people in their care with wise and understanding hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a deeper appreciation of our seas, oceans, and waterways as a valuable source of life, and for more enlightened approaches to the use of these resources, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an awareness of the preciousness of life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Baby Barrett Rinklin, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Deacon Ed Moser, Joanne Schlemmer, Thomas Didia, and Gabby Short, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Barry Grimes, Carol Casey Mullaney, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Generous God, you formed us in your own image and showered us with your love and granted us your forgiveness, treasures beyond compare. Help us to share these gifts with one another. Grant this and all our prayers through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Bless thou you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the, of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. May we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his, his name, name, for our, for our good, good and the good, good of all his holy, holy church. church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so, with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples as saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, <clears throat> that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and, the and the glory are yours, are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, your spirit. with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away, take away the, sins the sins of the, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.